My name is Jen Fu Chen. Now I'm a professor of Institute of Applied Mechanics, and I also have joint appointment at Graduate School of Advanced Technology. And I also serve as the director of the NAMS Research Center, Narrow Electronic Mechanical Systems Center at NTU. Semiconductor chips are the world's fourth most traded product after crude oil, motor vehicle and parts, and the refined petroleum. Chip provide the functionality of computing, communication, detecting, and controlling. They are widely used in the consuming electronics in our daily life. Taiwan semiconductor industry greatly benefit from a robust ecosystem. Taiwan produces over 60% of the world's semiconductor and over 90% of the most advanced ones. The dominance is mainly due to the TSMC, Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Corporation, the world's largest foundry. The firm makes chips on some of the most advanced process technologies in the industry. And it also serves the need of high-profile clients such as Apple, Intel, AMD, NVIDIA. TSMC has continuously established multiple fabs across the US, Japan, and Germany. The NTU names Narrow Electronic Mechanical System Research Center and the Semiconductor Fabrication Lab of the Consortia of Key Technologies is an academic research institution focused on multidisciplinary topics, including new generation electronics, biochemical sensors, actuators, and transmitters, photo device, and advanced materials. The center is open to everyone. We serve as a significant share facility at NTU, providing more than 30 state-of-the-art semiconductor fabrication equipment and tools for qualified users to conduct their research. We are like the finest studio, providing recording and mixing instruments for all the users to do their excellent work. Among these tools, the center possesses a maskless direct laser lithography system to fabricate 3D grayscale micro and nano structure in a single step by controlling the laser dosage. And we also have the inductive couple plasma reactive ion etching system to etch various materials, including silicon, compound, semiconductor, and metals. And the post laser deposition PLD equipment to deposit precisely control stoichiometric symphony by high power lasers. Students and engineering from the industry, they are all allowed to use all the fabrication and measurement equipment after receiving proper training and a qualification in the clean room. We also accept original equipment manufacturing requests from industry and academic researchers. So the students who do the fabrication in the center can have experience working with our staff and engineering from the industry to speed up their learning and progress. To bridge the gap between academia and industry, the center is working closely with the Graduate School of Advanced Technology and the Office of Research and Development at NTU regarding curriculum development to provide more hands-on experience for the students. The center also continues to serve as the bridge between star companies and the academia to provide cost-effective plans to support these startup research and development activity and spin-offs. The future development of the center is to develop advanced next-generation technology, including silicon photonics, quantum computing, innovative semiconductor material, and a biomedical sensor, and AI applications. This technology can boost semiconductor processing technology to the next level. Now we expect it to work with international scholars, research, and institutions to conduct high collaborative and cross-disciplinary research topics. During the collaboration, domain students and researchers can benefit from these international professionals in developing new skills with mentors, sharing their knowledge, and contribute to the skilled workforce development for the future.